and welcome to a PSA tutorial. Um, a common thing that you might have when you go to edit a character is that you might make something a different size. Uh, you might make Ike's sword longer, you might make um, it shorter, but you could see a large amount of possibilities where you're actually going to have to change the model uh, in size. And when this happens, the collisions are off, and it defeats the purpose of changing the model. So, in this instance, we're going to have to go into Smash Attacks and fix up the collisions. So, open up Smash Attacks, go to where you have your pack files, and the pack files that, remember, PSA uses are the just normal packs. For this example, I'm going to use Ike just because. Now let's say, I'm not going to show you how to change the model because you can see that on uh, using animation to edit model tutorial, but you'll see in the demonstration that the attack is in fact hitting in a different place than it should. So if you want uh, a reference, open your model character in Brawlbox. You don't have to. It's just if you get a little bit confused sometimes about direction or something like that. So just open him up. Maybe just, uh, I don't know, just, just so that you have like a kind of perspective. You must have that like this. Now you go to sub actions and let's change his um, forward smash which is attack F forward, I believe. Mm -hmm. Attack side, all oh, right, yeah. Right. Um, okay, that should be it right here. And we can see all of these offensive collisions. And we double click on one to start editing it. And where the actual position of it is, it's not anywhere in here. It is in the Z, X, and Y offset. <clears throat> so if you see when we click on this, it's got a zero Z offset. And what is pretty good, really, it's kind of a more sustainable method of editing uh, the bubbles, which are actually the things that are hitting, is by just from the exact middle of your character. If you can see my mouse right here, this bone right in the middle of him, that is actually where everything is related to. So this particular collision is actually exactly uh, on the same line as him. Now this makes sense because Z is um, farther away from us or closer to us. And as Brawl is a 2D fighter, I'd be surprised if anything had any other Z offsets. You know, if you can understand that. It's going to mostly be all X and Y. Y being up and down, X being uh, forwards and back. So you can see that this is minus 180,000, and this is 360,000. So, for kicks, we can make this 900,000, and this minus 900,000. Done. Uh, let's check. Okay, so let's also set this to 9,000. Oh, it's not this one. I would set that there. This one, 900,000. Uh, yeah. It might be hard to see it because it's going to be in a really weird place. So you don't really know where it is, but uh, 
Like this one, look, it's only got an X, which means that it's just, it hits somewhere right in front of him. And you should be able to see it on a demonstration because I'll toy around with it before I start recording. And that will be good so you can see it. Obviously, um, this is an extreme representation. You would only be editing this by probably a very small amount. But this is just to show you this is how it's done. Okay, so when you're done with that, save it to your desktop or something like that. Let's fit Ike F smash dot pack. Save that. And this should be your uh, forward smash. And you put that in your Ike file on your fighter PF. And you should be good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this and keep watching. Thanks.